Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice or want to learn more about how to think like a man or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything that you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, Make sure you pick up my girls night card game So if you're having a girls night with your homegirls And you need something to do Then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game We got a lot of fun questions and scenarios About love and relationships and everything all in between So if you're having a game night with your friends Make sure you go pick this up Link is in the description as well, okay? And also, on this hand, we got my brand new ebook It's called Oh He's Toxic Period And if you never want to be played Used and manipulated by men ever again in life Make sure you go pick up my ebook Because it's fire, okay? So link is in the description as well for that all right so that's out the way and we're gonna jump right into this video and this video is titled be careful about building up a man for another woman right so be careful ladies when you're building up a man and you're helping a man get up off his feet and you're picking him up and dusting him off he'll go right to another woman and give her everything that you put into him really so you have to be very careful about what type of man you build up. Because a lot of men, they'll take everything that you gave them and run to the next woman and give her all of your benefits that you gave to him. And he wasn't even like that before. But you made him into what he is today. And now he just feels like he could just do whatever because now he got the confidence to do so, you know? So I'm going to just explain in this video why you need to be careful about building up a man, right? So there are many type of ways how women will try to build a man up. So I'm going to explain a few ways, right? Okay, so one way how a woman can build a man up is his clothing, right? So she could like see his clothing. Maybe, you know, he don't really have a lot of drip. Maybe he don't have a lot of swag. Maybe his clothes kind of hanging off of him don't really fit. Or maybe like his style isn't really good or, you know, whatever. And you feel like, okay, I can get you some more clothes. Or maybe you could do this or you could do that. Or, you know, you kind of adjust him up to where he looks more presentable. You know, stuff like that, you know. Or, or just where he got a little bit more drip, a little bit more swag. You know, you change his dressing, his wardrobe. Maybe you help shop with him or he go get some new clothes or whatever you build up his wardrobe so you're building him up in a sense right so that's one way how women build a man up is his clothing right so another way how women will build a man up is like let's say he get a haircut right let's say if he's used to like not having a haircut you know every you know every two weeks or pretty often or whatever and now all of a sudden he meets you and you start saying you know I, I like your haircut when it's cut you know and he start getting his haircut all the time now like now he goes more frequently to get his haircut and now he looks more clean more presentable now but at first before he met you he would go you know weeks at a time maybe looking a little rough maybe sometimes he'll look good and you know get it trimmed up and sometimes you know he just let himself go and his hair just look wild but now it's like you know he keep himself groomed and and you just clean them up, you know? So that's another way how a woman will build a man up, you know? And also with that is his hygiene. So just like, you know, helping him with his hygiene, like, like I say, his hair, you know, just his cologne. Maybe you say, okay, you know, maybe you should try this cologne. Maybe smell good. He starts smelling good now. Get this kind of body wash. You know, maybe you should get this kind of shampoo. Maybe you should do this and do that, you know? And, you know, you you as a woman, you know, a lot of times, you know, you know what smell good. So maybe you could put him on to certain things that maybe smell good or whatever. And then now all of a sudden he starts smelling good, his hygiene good. You know, he starts dressing nice, his haircut. So then another way how a woman will build a man up is through his ambition, right? So it may be a man that does not have any ambition, any purpose, any type of goals or aspirations in life. Like maybe he's just going through life, like he just like whatever. And maybe like you see the potential in him and you're like, okay, maybe and you want to help him out so bad. So you're like, okay. You don't really know what you want to do in life, but maybe you could do this. Maybe you could do that. Maybe I can help you get a job. Maybe you can get, maybe I can fill out this job application for you, or maybe I can put in a reference for you here, or maybe I can do this, or maybe I can help you look for a job. Maybe I can help you do this or whatever, you know? Basically, you're trying to give him that drive. Like you see that he has, that he does not have drive or he does not have ambition, but you're, but you're wanting it more than he wants it. So you're putting that into him. Like, come on, come on, you a man. I need you to, I need you to move. I need you to do something, you know? And then all of a sudden he starts getting, kind of getting a little ambition. You know, you're like, okay, you know, and now he starts feeling himself like, okay, I got, I got a job now. You know, I'm doing well for myself. 
you know? And let's just say you change his whole living conditions. Let's say, let's say his living conditions was bad. Let's say maybe he didn't have a car. Let's say maybe he didn't have you know, a job or a lot of money in his pocket or, you know, just overall his life just wasn't, well, just wasn't on track. And you saw that, okay, maybe your living situation could change if, okay, let's get some more money. Okay. I'm gonna help you get a job. I'm gonna help you do this. I'm gonna help you do that. And you as a woman, you want to help this man so bad and you want to pour into him and he's not even pouring into himself a lot of times, you know? So you got to be careful ladies about pouring into a man and he's not even pouring into himself. You know, he's taking everything that you're putting into him and, and, he, and you're basically building him up. You're basically building that man up. You, it's like buildingman.com, you know? You went, it's like you went online and you start build, building a man. I want him to look like this. I want him to do this. I want him to do this. Okay, you know, you, and you see the potential in him and you as a woman, you're so nurturing that it's like you want to, you, you see all the areas where he could be better at and you want to help him. But sometimes these men don't even want to help themselves. Or sometimes when they do get that help from you, now you created a monster now and now he just feel like he just the king of the world and now he abandons you and he betrays you and goes with another woman you know so i'm gonna get into that later on but now i'm just talking about the different ways how women build a man up so just his drive his ambition you know just the way he looks just his wardrobe his his hygiene all that you know you're just building this man up and now that you build this man up now he got money in his pocket now he, now he dressing nice. Now he smelling good. Now he got his hair cut. You know, now he got more confidence because you gave him confidence. Now all those things together and being so nurturing to his ego that now his ego got bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So sometimes you got to be careful because once you build these men up, a lot of times you'll create a monster sometimes because that man, you know, he'll bite the hand that fed him, right? Let's just say he was a guy that wasn't necessarily your type, right? Let's say he was a guy that, you know, he wasn't necessarily your type, but you saw the potential in him. You saw that he could just pick him up and just dust him off. He would be okay, right? But then once you finally did that, now all of a sudden he gets big headed, right? Now all of a sudden, you know, at first, you know, he wasn't really your type and you, and you just so happened to give him a chance. But now that you made him into something, now he feel like I can have any girl now. Now you created a monster. Now he feel like, oh, well, I can walk around. I got you now. Because at first, you know, he was happy to even have you at first. Because he probably knew that you wasn't, that he wasn't really your type, right? He probably knew that, yeah, maybe this girl's out of my league, right? He probably knew that you was out of his league. But at the same time, you know, you gave him a chance, right? So now all of a sudden... He starts getting big headed. He starts feeling like he better than you. He starts feeling like I look better than her. He starts feeling like, well, I pull her. I can give me another girl look just like her. I can pull, I can give me another girl, a whole bunch of other girls that look just like her. She like me? Oh yeah, that gave him even more confidence. Just the fact that a pretty girl likes him, and he may not be a man that gets a lot of pretty girls, you know. So. You might have boosted his ego like that. Just being a good woman to him and giving him some attention as a woman, that can make a man big-headed too. Like, oh, I got you? Oh, okay, cool, you know? Especially if he's not used to that, you know? If he's not used to beautiful women in his life, right? So the way you got to be careful with that is that man will take everything that I just named and, and you'll build that man up into a monster. Now, all of a sudden, he's just betraying you. He neglecting you, cheating on you, lying to you because he got confidence now. Now, all of a sudden, he feel like he can do whatever. He feel like he can talk to whatever. He feel like I can talk to whatever girl, because guess what? I smell good. I look good. My hair cut. I'm fresh. I'm fly. Yeah, when I walk through, all the girls looking at me now, guess what? And, and then you, and then you as a woman, you're looking at him like, wait a minute. I made you who you are. If it wasn't for me, I'm the one that taught you everything you know. And now, all of a sudden, you're going to take everything I took to you I made you, and you gonna take that and be with another woman? So sometimes you gotta be careful about building a man up from the ground up into what you want him to be, the potential, and then all of a sudden now that he gets big headed, now he feels like he can just do whatever and treat you however, and he can just pull whatever woman he wants to pull or talk to whatever woman he wants to talk to because he does not care anymore about you. And now he's neglecting you because he's like, oh, well, you old news now. You know, I got what I wanted out of you. Thanks for making me who I am now. I, oh, I'm feeling myself now. Oh, I don't need you now. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you the old news now. Now I'm feeling myself. I got all these other girls on me. I'm feeling myself now. Right. So now you get all this new attention, right? 
So now you got to be careful because now you just created, you just created something that's not even yours anymore. And he, like, he was never really yours. You know, you were just building him up and he was just taking everything that you gave him. Now he finally got the confidence to attract the woman that he wants to attract now. Now he's going to leave you in the dirt, right? Now he finally got the, uh, now he finally got the confidence to talk to the woman he wants to talk to. But at first when he was lame and he didn't have nothing and he was a bum, you know, he didn't have that confidence to talk to the woman he wanted to talk to or to attract the woman that he wanted to attract. But now that he fresh, he fly, he got a new car, he got a nice little job, he got a nice house now, you put him on all that. He got more money in his pocket because you put him on, right? And now he goes to the next woman and shower her with all these gifts. Shower her with everything. Everything you've been begging for him to do for you, he doing it for her. Because you built him up for another woman. You made that man a better man for another woman. So ladies, you got to be very careful about building a man up. Because you're building him up into a, another woman's arms. Right? So more of the story is, don't be building no man up. Point blank period, overall message of the day is, do not build no man up, right? Now, now, I understand that, you know, everybody has their flaws and stuff like that. Everybody has things they can work on and stuff like that. But don't be trying to build a man up from the ground up. You know, you want a man that already has ambition, already has drive, already has things in motion to where he already knows where he wants to go. You know, he's already on track. You don't need a man that's starting from ground zero and just you're just trying to make him into something that he don't even want to be himself. You know, he's not even making an effort for himself. So why are you making an effort for him? You need a man that's making an effort for himself. That's the man you want. The man that's making an effort for himself, actually moving and making those steps and those plans and not just talking or not doing nothing at all, right? So stop trying to be a mother to a grown man. That's all I'm saying. Don't be no mother to a grown man. You know, and don't never enable a man because you're enabling him. You're you're not you're he's not going to be a grown man. He's going to be a grown boy because you're taking care of him. You you put him on. He didn't have the ambition before, but you made him into what he is, right? So so you want a man that already has that. That already has the ambition. He may not have necessarily he don't have to necessarily be rich and have everything in line right now, but he he has to at least have things go up for himself where it's leading and you can see where he's going with it right so that's all i'm saying so so ladies be very careful about building a man up for another woman okay so i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe hit that bell notification and i'm out of here so to the next video